Good day everyone! Welcome sa panimago nating tutorial series. So this is Information Assurance Security 2 series. This is part 3 and for today we are going to continue talking about network fundamentals. In our previous video, we have discussed about IP address that we have two versions of IP address are available. That is the IP version 4 and IP version 6. So we are going to discuss about IP addressing concepts. So, an IP or Internet Protocol is a unique number assigned to all devices when they are connected to the Internet. Or they are in the frame network, it will present the unique address of that particular device. It is a numerical representation that is uniquely identifies a specific interface on the network and describes a set of standard requirements for creating and transmitting data packets or datagrams across the networks. So we have here two versions of internet protocol. As we know, that the number of internet users and devices are growing rapidly. The IP version 4 has only 32 bits, so it can only support 4 point billion devices or can only connect to the internet. Okay? So the replacement model is the IP version 6. It supports 128 bits, such a lots of IP addresses compared to IP version 4. That's why IP version 6 has been created in 1990s and it represented by 8 sets of 4 hexadecimal digits and each set of numbers are separated with column and the IP version 4 are represented by 4 octets of numbers like for example like you are using command prompt checking your IP by typing ipconfig it will give you your IP address details. So when you are getting this kind of address, 168.212.226.204, that means that you are using IP version 4. But if you are getting IP address like 2DAB column, FFFF column, 0000 column, 3EAE column, 01AA column, 00F column, DD72 column, 2C 4A column. Well, that means that you are using IP version 6. Okay, so this is the basic difference between IP version 4 and IP version 6. When you are connected to your router, a router assigns you a private IP address to anything. So basically, there is a two types of IP addresses: public IP address and private IP address. A private IP address is the IP address you use to communicate within local networks. So any devices that have a Bluetooth feature or can connect to a network have private IP addresses. And it only works within a local area network and not in the internet. And it is free to use. On the other hand, a public IP address is the IP address you are using to communicate outside local networks and connect to the internet. This type of IP address is not free because it is assigned and controlled by internet service providers. Dynamic IP addresses are what an internet service provider gives to its customers. They change every time a new device is added to the network, when the network configurations change, or when the device is rebooted. Thus, your home IP address doesn't stay the same. Dynamic IP addresses are commonly used due to security reasons because of the regular changes. It makes it hard for hackers to access the network interface. In contrast, static IP addresses are considered fixed IP addresses. Therefore, they remain the same unless the network administration changes. Most end users don't need to have static IP addresses. However, it is necessary for devices that require constant access or if you connect to a private network of 10. For example, a shared printer must have a static IP address, so people in the office can easily connect to it. Other than that, web hosting companies need static IP addresses because their clients require constant access to their web and email servers. This makes it easier for requests to reach the correct IP address through the DNS or domain name system. Next, we have the subnet. Subnet mask is 32 bits numbers in which the series of ones represents the network ID part, and the subnet ID part, whereas the series of zeros represents the host ID part. Dividing the network into smaller networks or subnet is called subnetting. Why are we dividing the subnet? 
such a large numbers of hosts is a tedious job. So if we divide this large network into the smaller network, then maintaining each network would be easy. Default subnet masks are used with class A, class B, and class C IP addresses. The class A subnet mask tells you the first 8 bits of the IP address represents the network portion of the address. The remaining 24 bits represent the host portion of the address. Let's say a host has the IP address 10.25.65.32 using the default subnet mask. The network address would be 10.0.0.0. The host component of the address would be 25.65.32. The class B subnet mask tells you the first 16 bits of the IP address represent the network portion of the address. The remaining 16 bits represent the host address within the network. If a host has the IP address 172.20.33.33, the network portion of the address would be 172.20.0.0. The host component would be 33.33. The class C subnet mask tells you the first 24 bits of the IP address represents the network portion of the address. The remaining 8 bits represent the host address within the network. If a host has the IP address 192.168.2.3, the network portion of the address would be 192.168.2.0 The host component would be 3 So now you can see here in the class A leading bits we have 0 Size of the network number bit field is 8 Size of the rest bit field is 24 Number of maximum networks or the devices can be connected is 128 Start address 0 .0 .0 .0. and the end address is 127.255.255.255 okay same with the class b plus c d and e so next we have bitwise of ip address classes this is just the complete calculations you can just simply go for converting the IP addresses into bitwise representation. That's it. Ayan. So that's it for this video. And hoping na may natutunan kayo. At kung may mga katanungan kayo, contact nyo lang ako through email or chat. Okay? So see you on the next video.